This is Jesus Manuel Mena Garza. I'm going to talk about Chicano photography. Back in 1970 through 1975, as a student at San Jose State University, I had the opportunity to photograph uh, many in the Chicano movement, El Movimiento Chicano. I used my Hasselblad and Nikon F2 to capture activism, artists, and especially theater of the day. This photograph is uh, quite popular. I've sold quite a few prints. It was captured at San Jose, California's Hallier Park. Again, uh, it displays and uh, illustrates uh, the dress of the day, the bell bottoms, and at the bottom of his pants, you can see the Chicano power patch. So people are hanging out at the park. It's a nice, warm, beautiful day, and they're socializing. This photograph of Cesar Estrada Chavez has been on book covers, on posters, and, and exhibited internationally, along with a lot of my other photographs. I captured this image at San Jose State University's uh, Spartan Stadium. You know, I saw Chavez many, many times, and I had many opportunities to photograph him here. He just uh, sitting there, and I kneeled down, pointed my camera to him, and he just smiled. And uh, it's a great photograph. At least that's what I think. In Modesto, California, at a protest march and demonstration against Gallo Wines, a woman is carrying a portrait of La Virgen de Tepeyac, La Virgen de Guadalupe. Many in the assembled had been marching for miles and for days in protest of Gallo Wines. I photographed quite a few theater performances back in the uh, early 70s. Here is a group called El Teatro Campesino, a group uh, that supported the United Farm Workers Movement in their plays and content. Uh, I really enjoyed their performances. Here they are uh, at San Jose State University during Semana Chicana. This is one from a series of photographs of uh, Rodolfo Corky Gonzalez, the fiery leader of Denver's Crusade for Justice. He just happened to be at El Centro Cultural de la Gente in San Jose, and I had an opportunity to capture this photograph and many others of him during his uh, discussions, uh, debates, with individuals at El Centro Cultural. Back in uh, 1974, I uh, traveled with El Teatro de la Gente and also with Teatro Campesino to Mexico City for El Quinto Festival de los Teatros Chicanos. Here we are in Teotihuacan performing. Um, there are various theater groups from San Jose and also from Mexico and uh, all over the United States and also Latin America. They gathered there and it was a great opportunity for a political discussion and also for uh, artistic exchange. This is a portrait of my father sitting at the kitchen table. I wanted to capture the simplicity of the scene, the oil cloth, uh, the, the basic uh, environment of my parents' home in San Jose, California. My father was a farm worker, my mother a cannery worker. Both of them met in Crystal City, Texas. Back in the day, I used to photograph quite a few people on the street. Uh, this is an example. I photograph kids, uh, older people, all kinds of folks on the street. Here's a student at uh, Roosevelt Junior High School standing in front of the school. As you probably notice, uh, the negative is square. The print is square. Uh, that's because my Hasselblad shoots a square image. When I was growing up, San Jose had a population under 100,000 people. Today, uh, what once was called uh, the Garden City, and now is called uh, Silicon Valley, is over a million people. Here's a photograph of some downtown demolition. They wanted to put a high-rise here. You can barely see uh, in the arch there, it says, Dancing.
This photograph of my parents' uh, backyard clothesline, my parents do not have a gas or electric uh, dryer, they just had a clothesline, uh, is very popular at some of my exhibitions. Uh, oftentimes people can't relate to the political context of some of my imagery, and they like this one because of the aesthetics. They like the uh, bokeh, the areas that are out of focus. So, again, this is very popular. Just a few blocks from my parents' house was the Del Monte pickling plant. Uh, here are some of the rings for the barrels. Of course, a lot of these canneries have moved out of San Jose since it's become so expensive for them to uh, be located there. They're now in, uh, in the valley, uh, you know, 100 miles away. So I found this very aesthetic. I shot quite a few uh, images uh, that day of the Del Monte pickling plant. And of course, it's in black and white. I've had the uh, great fortune of uh, exhibiting my photographs internationally, primarily of my documentary work, but I also have uh, in my repertoire quite a few landscape images. Here's some uh, twisted limbs that I photographed at the Pinnacles National Forest, and I really enjoy the subject matter. Again, in black and white. Thanks for checking out my photographs and my On Chicano Photography uh, little uh, series here. My name is Jesus Manuel Managarza. I'd like to thank you for uh, your time. And you can always check out my website at jmmgarza.com. Gracias. Adios. Bye-bye.